What we're going to be going over here is governmental accounting for general capital assets. And what we're going to be looking at is how we record those general capital assets here in the general fixed asset account group. So when we're talking about governmental accounting, it involves governmental funds. And along with those governmental funds, when you invest in capital assets here, you set up those capital assets or those investments in accounting control groups here. So what we're going to do, be looking at here is we're going to be looking at the accounting control groups here versus the governmental funds. And when we're talking about governmental funds, uh, really we have two different accounting control groups that we'll be looking at here. So for first off, for the uh, governmental funds that we have like for the general fund, special purpose fund, and capital projects fund, when we make investments in capital assets, they're going to be recorded in accounting control group here as gen in general capital assets. And there's, those are going to be accounted for outside of the funds. It's not accounted directly in the fund. It's accounted for in an accounting control group that is outside the fund. But then there's also the case here where you're going to be looking at propriety funds and fiduciary funds. Uh, this is where they, they're going to be referred to as fund capital assets here, and they're going to be accounted for within the funds, just to make that distinction. Uh, and what we're talking about... Uh, when we refer to those uh, capital assets here, they're going to be general capital assets in the accounting control group here. And for the first case here, where those uh, assets are accounted for outside the funds, and then uh, when they're accounted for within the funds for like the priority, uh, pr propriety fund and the fiduciary fund, they're referred to as fund capital assets. Okay, just to make that distinction. Okay, now let's go down and let's look at our general fixed asset account group. What that is, is a detailed inventory record of the fixed assets. First off, it's not a fund. It does not collect or disperse money here or dollars. Uh, what it is, is a list of government owned assets in double entry form here. And that would be for land, buildings, improvement, machinery, equipment, and construction and Pro, uh, progress here. Well, it doesn't really involve monies here. It's re we record the fund itself here in the as an as in our inventory here in our inventory record. But there's no really transfers of money. What it does is keeps track of the carrying value and the accumulated depreciation on those assets on those fixed assets. And fourth, fourth here for the acquisition of a general capital asset, it will be recorded here as follows. For a recording here, you're going to have the specific asset account. You're going to debit that. And then the credit is going to go to the original funding source of the asset. And really, we're looking, it's going to be listed as an investment here. Now, that funding source, that would be what we were talking up above here. That would be the capital projects fund. It could be the general fund revenues here. Or it could be some special revenue funds or donations. And the other thing that we want to note here is that capital assets are recorded at cost. Now, if the assets are donated, then you use the estimated fair value to record the capital assets. And then additionally here, uh, maintenance expenditures are not accounted for, are not accounted for uh, separate. They're accounted for separately here. They do not affect the carrying value. Okay, so let's go up and let's look at our basic entries here. Okay, so first let's look at the case here. We're going to have this fixed assets. It's acquired with general fund revenue. So first we'll look at the general fund here and just put down the basic entry here. We're going to, for our general fund here, this is where we're going to have vouchers payable here. And we're going to have recognize the expenditures here through the general fund. Now, with the encumbrance system, you'd have a number of additional entries here. But all I want to just point out here is or looking at the rec record here of the fund outflows, that would be the amount paid. So for our example here, we're going to make a fixed asset investment here. Uh, govern the government, a city a unit, a city is going to invest, say, $200,000 here in a fire truck. So when you make your purchase here, we'll just set up a vouchers payable, credit it for two hundred thousand, and then our expenditures would be recognized, uh, debited for two hundred thousand dollars. Now, note here, this is going for our example here. We're just using the general fund as our example. Well, it could be special projects or capital projects funds, but let's just say this purchase was made through general fund, the general fund here. All right, so we've made our purchase here. Just basic entry here. 
uh, for the purchase here. Now, when it was act if it is actually paid in cash, then you would be uh, crediting or reducing your cash account here and reducing your payables. Okay, so we've made our basic entry here. Now let's go down and let's look at our general fixed assets account group. You make your entry here in the fund that you're purchasing this uh, asset in. Now you have to record the asset itself here in the general fixed asset account group. So here we're going to be looking at recording a purchase and also the disposal of the fixed asset. And we'll just go through basic entries. So in your general fixed asset account group, this is where you're going to have a detailed record of the fixed asset. And what you want to do here first, we're looking at identifying a specific fixed asset. We'll look at how we do that. And then secondly here, B here, we're going to be looking at originating the funding, the original funding source of the fixed asset. Okay, so second here, now this is where we're going to look at this general fixed asset account group. So it's generally referred to as GFAAG, or general fixed asset account group. Okay, so what does that include here? Uh, we're going to have the... Um, Identifying the specific asset account here, the A of specific asset account you'd have like under machinery and equipment, and this would be under the general fixed asset account group. And then along with that, you're going to have this investment account that we uh, investment here in the fixed asset, and this would be under the general fund revenue. This is where the investment is going to be coming from, the general fund revenue. So when you're talking about governmental accounting, we're looking at it in T-account form here, but you have to be familiar with the titles and the funds or the accounting groups that these are coming out of. So I've got them listed here. And then along with your uh, investment account here in your machinery and equipment, you're going to have your accumulated depreciation here for our basic example. And this would be for the machinery and equipment. So we identify the specific asset account here. Well, in this case, let's say we're buying a fire truck. You would note it, so note it in your machinery and equipment account that it was for, say, a fire truck here. Now, let's look at when we make the purchase here. Uh, in, our general, in our machinery and equipment account here, under general fixed asset account group, let's just say we debited it for $200,000. That's what we purchased this uh, fire truck for here. So debited for $200,000, and then the credit are, is going to go to an investment in the fixed assets under the general f fund revenue here for the purchase here, credit it for $200,000. Okay, so now we come along here. And we've made some, uh, we've, uh, it's passed through a couple years here, and we have uh, some accumulated depreciation here on this fire truck. So we're going to credit our accumulation, uh, accumulated depreciation here, account for the machinery and equipment account here, credit at for $50,000. Okay, so we've, we've made our credit here to our accumulated depreciation, which is going to reduce our machinery and our equipment account here, but where would the debit go here? Now, the key here is that the debit is not going to be expensed here. What it's going to go to is a reduction in our investment in our fixed asset account here under the general fund revenue. So we're going to debit or reduce our investment in fixed asset here by the amount of that accumulated depreciation here of $50,000. So accumulated depreciation, we credit it for $50,000. Now, the debit is going to go to a reduction in our fixed assets debited at for $50,000. So depreciation is a reduction to the investment account. It's not expensed here. But what's going to happen here is the accumu uh, accumulated depreciation is going to be recorded in the govern government wide statements. Okay, so here we made our depreciate, we recognized our depreciation here expense only through reduce reduction here in the investment in our fixed asset account here. Okay, so now let's say, for example, we're going to sell this fire truck here, and we're going to actually uh, receive $100,000 for this fire truck. But what we have to do here when we're disposing of the fire truck or the sale of the fire truck here, this fixed, uh, this fixed asset through our machinery and equipment account, we're going to have to remove it, remove the asset off the books here. Okay, so how we would do that here is, well, we had recorded here a debit amount here for the purchase price of that uh, uh, fire truck or under our machinery and equipment account here for $200,000. So we credit it 
for $200,000. Then our accumulated depreciation will have to be closed out here. We had a credit, recognized $50,000 here, so we would debit or uh, the our accumulated depreciation here for $50,000. So that's closing out our machinery and equipment account and accumulated depreciation. And then the other thing we have to close out is an investment here in the fixed asset. We would debit that here for the remaining balance of $150,000. So we started out with a credit at $200,000. Then for the depreci accumulated depreciation, we debited that for $50,000. So that leaves us with the disposal amount here of $150,000. Okay, so what we want to... Okay, so we've closed out our investment in our fixed asset account here. But what we want to note here, when we, when we identified our specific fixed asset, that was under a machinery and equipment account here and then also under the accumulated depreciation uh, account here we identified our specific asset here and then our investment or fixed asset uh, under the general revenue account that was our funding source here just you have to note your funding source here uh, that was our general fi fund revenue here and you would do that under your fixed asset account. Just so you, you note here the uh, specific asset account that you're dealing with here for the purchase, the disposal, and also for your accumulated depreciation. You want to identify that specific asset account here. And then for the investment in your fixed assets here, uh, you have to identify the funding source here. And we did as the general fund revenue. Okay, so take away from this, depreciation is a reduction to the investment account. Any Accumulated depreciation is an investment to a uh, reduction to your investment account. It doesn't go against any depreciation expense. And then at the disposal, just remember, remove off whatever your carrying amount is for your machinery and equipment account, any accumulated depreciation you have, and then all you also your investment in your fixed asset. Okay, and then finally, just to end with uh, again, we're going back to the general fund here and say, for example, we, uh, this is where we're going to record the fund inflows here. This is where we're disposing of that uh, fire truck or that uh, m under our machinery and an equipment account. And we're actually going to receive some funding from that here. It could be cash receipt. I'm just throwing it out here where you would <coughs> list it here as uh, in your general fund. It would be under under financing or other financing sources here in your general fund that you would be crediting for the disposal amount here of $100,000 and then you'd recognize as, as revenues here again in your general fund here debit that here for $100,000 your disposal so you can see here we've we had 150 or we had 150,000 essentially sitting in our investment account here after we had our accumulated depreciation but uh, for our actually the revenues we received here was $100,000 so you just when you're talking about your general fund the monies you receive just record them uh, record the fund flows in as the amount received here we could have also looked at uh, cash coming in here, but I'm just showing it here as revenues here. Again, in the general fund. Okay, so just the other thing to note here, this accumulated depreciation that we were talking about, again, it's recorded in government, the government-wide statements. It's not recorded right here in our general fixed asset account. Well, it's inc included in our general fixed asset account, but the uh, uh, depreciation expense itself would go to the uh, government-wide statements. All we did here with this um, depreciation expense here that we had, we reduced our investment in our general fixed asset account here for uh, the general fund revenue. Okay, so you note it. You know what? Just to go over here, this is where when you make any investments here, and we did it through, let's go back up here, we did it through the general fund here. It could have been through a specific purpose fund or capital projects funds, but just for example, we, we use the general fund here. So look at, record your fund outflows for any amount paid here. And then moving down here to, uh, when, once you do that, then you have to record in your general fixed asset account here. You're going to record the purchase. And then once you dispose, of, if you dispose of the equipment, you would also record that here in your general fixed asset account. Okay, so that'll uh, summarize our topic here for governmental accounting, where we have some 
uh, general capital assets and where we had to record them here in the general fixed asset account group.